need to communicate That's that. Why I was trying to get I was to... waiting. No, I don't need that. I don't need I'm to make a loud you noise. That I do. I need it on this side to make the delay so that we don't have this clunky intro. Hi. <laughs> Good lord. <sighs> <clears throat> okay, well maybe next time explain it so that I understand. Uh, you know, you know, once, just once, if I could be like, hey, could just do that, and you could just do it. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. We will be um, looking at some crafty stuff instead of arguing. Oh, we're going to keep bickering. What? I said, no, we won't. We're going to keep bickering. I hope not. I'm just trying to reboot the computer because it decided to... Um, there were several things that yeah, were bad at the like same time. Yeah, like right there. at the all at the same time. So, whatever. Now I have the chat back. Chat back. All right. It's working. Yes, for now. Uh, let us know in the live chat uh, where you're watching from and who is there, who we're talking to. Um, today, we are going to be taking a look at Colorado Craft Company's new release. Um, featuring Anita Jerram. Do you think that's correct? Jerram? Jerram. That's what I'd go with. <clears throat> anyway, um, she has wonderful illustrations and you might have seen them in the book Guess How Much I Love You. And if you don't know, that's this one. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize that. What do you mean? I don't, I don't feel like I realized that it was the same... I thought that you were using that for inspiration. I guess I didn't realize that. It was well, that. yeah, well, I was. I mean, <laughs> but it's her for, drawings. For a good purpose, it's her realized, illustrations. That's yeah. That's fantastic. I didn't realize that. So um, it's really it really lends itself well to like watercolor um, and like a loose coloring. I think you can formulate your own opinions. I'm going to show you uh, the entire release. And for, um, I think today and tomorrow, you can get free shipping. Use code free shipping. This is from the Colorado Craft Company site. If you purchase from another retailer, then the, the free shipping code won't work. But for today and tomorrow, you can go and use uh, free shipping on the Colorado Craft Company site and get free shipping. So that's a bonus. We also have to do a giveaway. There's going to be a giveaway for a $35 uh, gift card. And um, once again, I've failed to come up with a way <laughs> to give it away. <laughs> we, almost, we, we almost talked about that, too. We did talk about it. I said, let's decide beforehand how we're going to give this away. So, and then I didn't because there's too much stuff going on. This is, <clears throat> after this whole day, if we could just cut it up, parcel it out, mail it to somebody else, and then, you know, let them have it for a minute. <laughs> We just needed um, backup or assistance or something today, and we need two more of us. Is really what it is. <sighs> Remember just... that movie with Michael Keaton where he started to multiplicity and he started cloning himself, but like every time you clone yourself, you like start to lose. Yeah, a copy of a copy. Yeah. A fax of a fax. Yeah. That was pretty funny. That was a funny movie. Anyway, um, I I can't remember the significance of the enamel pin, but I'm sure if we look on their website, we might be able to find it out. I'm not sure if they're um, doing it like a limited time or if it's just something that's being released with the release. I I didn't I don't know, but I'm not a huge enamel pin collector, but I know that a lot of you guys are. Um, and here, and my nails are dirty because I've been doing stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, so let's just go one by one. What do you think? Are you asking me? Yeah. I don't have an opinion. Well, we don't really care what you think. Yeah. All right. Well, what? they're all super adorable. So we'll just, can we go to the down facing camera, no. dear? So this one is called, do I know the names of them all? The Probably bottom. not. Ice cream day. And it has an awesome little uh, scene here that has a deer and a bunny with a, a snowball. 
and then another bunny like a larger of that same bunny uh, with some additional snowball so it really opens up like how you can use the set and then it has really unique fonts that are I guess from her illustrations from the book too um so that's I what is it called ice cream ice cream day I'm that might not be right is it at the bottom there there's some writing at the bottom of the front I'm thinking that there's another there's a cat set that and I mixed them up because I was playing with them yeah uh. <laughs> oh yeah today just keeps getting better I got it your first time yes okay I got this. Okay. <laughs> it's just going to be a second. <laughs> because the ice cream kitties, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yep, yep. Nope. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Snow happy. I really messed these up. And I thought I was so clever because what I did was I took the uh, stamp set out of the uh, packaging, right? And I ditched the plastic um, barrier that was in there and I just stuck all the stamps right to the packaging. And I was like, wow, that's really awesome. I could totally keep them like that. Um, and But now I've screwed it all up. And now it's not as cool because clearly this is going to happen. Right. Well, that's cool. <laughs> it's, it's still cool. That's awesome. Okay, the one we're going to use today. Hey, while you're fumbling about, wasn't this the live that we were supposed to be flawless? Yeah, but it's clearly, yeah. th that's not so happening. just for any of you that were the betting types, maybe I'm not quite sure what our line was in Vegas, but um, so there's that. All right, well, let's just look at them. And we can pretend that we know the names of the stamp sets. Everything is linked in the description box, so you don't have to count on me. <laughs> just look at the pretty picture <laughs> all right so let's look at the real ice cream day which it has little kitties that are all having their ice cream and I tried to color this one earlier this week and I um I came into a problem like I started coloring or watercoloring uh parts of the image that were right next to each other and I know this is not good okay so and I probably could have saved it, but it wasn't good. I started coloring the ice cream, the layers of the ice creams, um, and then going right to the next one. And with watercolor, you have to allow that area to dry before you move on to the area right next to it, if that makes sense. And I didn't. So we're going to remember to do that today. <laughs> um, this one is... Not my favorite. Not that I don't think it's cute, but my favorite is the one that we're using today. And it has the bunny with the balloon. I just love this image. Huh? I'm sorry, say that again. I said you've seen some traction on that one, huh? Yes. You can tell that I've already stamped out this set. This actual stamp is in the Misty because I was using it. And um, this is like my favorite of the release so far. I'm sweating, so I'm gonna take this jacket off. All different kind of videos. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, um, I just yeah. wanna go on record that that's back to back uh, back to back videos where you are taking clothing off. I know. It must be the lights because they're all. We have the all the light bulbs. Um. Okay, so this is the background set that was released, and it's called Stripes and Dots. So we are going to use this today. There, here's what we're going to kind of make. I'm going to change up the, um, the color combination a little bit. And Mike, Tim's best friend, Mike, is expecting a baby. Not hit him, but his wife. And um, so I'm going to make this one, but with a more general, neutral, green color palette with you today, hopefully, if I, if I can get myself together. Let's move on. This one. Boom. 
boom is called wishing happiness and it has a couple of puppies and a couple of mice and they're doing artistic things so i really like this one and this one comes with a like a um an arched sentiment so you don't see that every day um and then a couple of them with the mixed fonts i really love that look too um let's go next They do have pictures on the back. Uh, better together, Tiffany and this asking, one has. Sorry, huh? I don't mean to interrupt you, but Tiffany's asking if this is a new stamp company. Uh, no, they've been around a while, but they are new to having their own uh, website. They actually used to sell their product through Simon Says Simon Says Stamp exclusively. So this is actually like a, their recent launch, I guess, from their website and with their new illustrator. So that's the significance behind it. Um, this one is, I guess I said, better together. And it has like this really adorable cluster of animals that are all holding hands. I think that's super cute. And then it comes with um, some little tiny, tiny bugs. Um, like it looks like a ladybug, maybe a cricket or... or... Yeah, it, that's a cricket. And it has like a little dandelion leaf or something. I don't know my flowers, so it could be anything. Some kind of weed. <laughs> But I love, again, like the mixed fonts and the handwritten fonts are just really cute. I am sweating. Okay, this one is Christmas Tree Cat. And it also comes with a little tag. So it has the Christmas tree that looks very Charlie Brown-esque. And uh, this sentiment that has uh, actually the blacked out background. So that's really neat. That'll give you some different looks and a tag so and this little guy looks like he's in a couple of the of the sets this little mouse here okay and then i showed you this one this one's actually called snow happy kittens and mittens this one is kittens and mittens and this one's cool because it comes with the background for the snow. So that's really neat. It makes like your background super easy. And uh, the, the kitties and the mittens, I mean, come on. So very baby card ready, I think. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you think, Tim? Hmm? It's very baby card looking, this set. Mm -hmm. With the kittens and the mittens. I'm just saying. That's what I, I see it when I look at that. <clears throat> All right, we've got, this is us frames and wall words. And my computer went out. So you've got different frames and the fonts, and these are all separate. So like the, the fonts are, or the sentiments are not connected to the frames, so you can mix and match till your heart's content, I guess. Um, oh, and I love this one here. It says the greatest moments in life are the most simplest. And I just love the font and how it's mixed and I guess like clustered together. It's just really pretty. Most simplest? Yeah. Is that wrong? I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it. Okay. I mean, it's not, it, I'm, I'm not, I, that, no. Maybe it's because I turned 41, and that's why I think that it's hot down here now. No, it's because you sit in front of the sauna light. <laughs> okay, so, watercoloring. Let's do some watercoloring, now that we've looked at all the sets. And if you guys want to see anything, again, just tell uh, Tim in the live chat, and I'll put it back in the camera. That way you guys can see everything. Ugh. Okay, watercoloring for me is new. I've I, I have used the medium in the past, but I feel like 
uh, it's still very new to me. So whatever I say is uh, just of my own opinion. I am not an authority on watercoloring at all. <laughs> I'm just simply showing you how I achieved these or somewhat like these uh, results, okay? So I'm using Daniel Smith watercolors. I have a pot of clean, well, it used to be clean, clear water and then some dirtier water. And then I've got two brushes. I have one that I really You're like to dirty use. Dirty in a less dirty jar. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Dirty and then less dirty. So um, I have one that is squirrel hair, and the other that is uh, well, they're both synthetic. And then the other one is this one's supposed to be white. It's called Perla, the Perla Esco Escoda brushes. <sighs> I can't talk tonight. So I've started with one layer. Watercoloring is like, like ogres. They have layers. So I already started this layer so that we could really just do a card. But I will show you how I got here very quickly. I've been painting first with regular flat water or clear water. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the water. I, I'm a control freak. And um, so I try to tell the watercolor where to go instead of letting it free flow. If... <laughs> So, and that's probably the exact opposite of what you're supposed to be doing, but this is what I've been doing, okay? <laughs> then I start to add a little bit of the color, kind of where I want the darkest part of my image to be. And I really like when watercolor looks unblended. I, I hope that makes sense. Where it's a little bit more like where you see the difference, the gradients. I really like that. I love how that looks. Just like a starker color contrast line. Right. So you might not enjoy that look, but that's what I'm trying to do. So by doing that, I start <clears throat> adding my color where I want it to be the darkest. And that way I can leave that other areas for a lighter area. And it takes a long time. It takes me a long time to watercolor. It's not a quick process. The Prairie Stork would like an update on your shoulder. If you'd like <sighs> to talk through that particular... Nothing has changed since the last time I did that. So y'all can <laughs> look at the last live. <clears throat> I haven't gone anywhere in the last couple of weeks. It takes too long. It's t too long of a process too slow of a change. Everybody loves your brushes. I love my brushes. <clears throat> okay, nobody's supposed to be looking at my stewy pants. So anyway, that's what I start with. A light, very light edition of I some watercolor. Huh? I had it on the down cam. Oh, good. So you didn't see it. And then I slowly add color. Staying, avoiding, going right next to where you just added color. Okay? So you don't mix colors. When you watercolor, this is still damp. Okay, so to try to color outside, right outside of these lines, you start mixing color. <clears throat> so, I again, I take my, this it, squirrel hair is supposed to be more absorbent and take on uh, more water. So that's why I'm using it in this way, or that's why I wanted it. So, um... I'm just going to literally add just regular water where I want to add more color. I just and want then, to go on, go on record to say that we have plenty of squirrels. 
and I would be happy to harvest any of their parts for you, for your art. Well, it's an, it's a synthetic squirrel hair. It's not real but, squirrel hair. I mean, typically, you know, natural is better. Maybe. I don't know how that would work. You might get rabies. Not me. Is there a uh, brush holder? Oh, that, that brush holder. Oh, my little crane? Yeah, that brush holder. I bought this in uh, North Carolina this past weekend. At Jenny Gordon in Moorhead City. Right next to the train depot. <clears throat> Olivia, the pizza was essential. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Not at all. In fact, any it's of us making wanted. me a little nauseous. But, That's um, way too much. There was no time to prepare a proper meal tonight between soccer and working in lives and everybody else's lives so this color that i'm using right now is it's actually called neutral tint and <clears throat> it's supposed to be I, well it can be for many things but it's added to other colors to make them darker and I'm just using it to create shadow on this rabbit and make him look like he's a gray and white rabbit. All right, one more question about the um, the rest. Is it, uh, is it supposed to be a chopstick rest? Yes. It is. And then um, what kind of watercolor paper and, and the, the paints again? Because there was another question about that a little bit further. These are Daniel Smith. Um, I have, this is green gold here that I'm using in the balloon and then neutral tint and that's by Windsor and Newton. I just picked that up for like four bucks in North Carolina <clears throat> at Hobby Lobby. And then I have rhodonite genuine for the pink. Uh, the blue in the background, if you can see that is, uh, Mayan blue genuine, I believe. Who comes up with these names? Actually, I think Daniel Smith has like a really elaborate description of how they each got their name. If you look on their website. <clears throat> I would kind of hope that there would be some kind of inspiration behind it and, and not just like, I'm going to put pretty words together. No, I think they can explain why. At least Daniel Smith, I know I've seen that. quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. I was just getting ready to say, I'm pretty sure your job is to, you know, be entertaining all the time, regardless of what you're doing. I can't. <clears throat> and, uh, well, we can keep you talking about something you know about then. How about the paper? Is it cold press or That hot? is Arches cold press watercolor paper. This is my first time, uh, using it because I used to have, um, the hot pressed. So this is my first time using the cold press. <clears throat> it's hot over here. I know it is. I don't. I don't understand why you're just now realizing this. It's like hotter than blazes over there under those lights. Is uh is the paper cotton? Uh, I don't know. I don't know that. Did I fail? Maybe I wasn't listening to what you said, and it's very possible. But I don't understand the comment. Um, Michelle says, uh, 
she's pretty sure that they have to do with the pigment that creates the color. Did I? Were you talking about that? Did That's the. Something? She's talking about the name of the watercolors. Oh. See. You know, Amanda just said that she's been, she really likes the new bunny stamps and has been enjoying all the days of the hop. Oh yeah, see I didn't do a blog post. No, nobody's going to pick up on that bad pun. I'll call you out on it, Amanda. Bad pun. Well, she's actually, it's a blog hop. I know, I know. So you can basically just keep adding color around. Victoria Loftus wants to know how often your live videos are. Oh gosh, whenever I feel like it. <laughs> There's no planning. Come on. We, we, you what? You plan 11 a year. That's it. Well, I plan the, the craft get, cast the ones, right, yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. The, you plan 11 a year. The rest of them they're are all, the Yeah, they're all planned for the rest of the year, and then I was thinking about planning more for next year, but I don't know. <laughs> Still considering. Yeah, I enjoy doing the craft cast. I think it's fun. I enjoy doing it, too. <clears throat> I need to get better at um, managing my time with Dexter being home for school so that I have enough time to do all the things. Yeah, time management's, I think, uh, it's a bit tough for all of us, I think. I know I struggle with it more than most. <clears throat> Are you on the down facing camera? So they can see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you always ask me that like when I'm standing up trying to sneak myself some calories. trying to deliver you a drink. Well, I could reach it before. You didn't have to do that. Well. Dana wants me to ask, uh, Dana, Christina, uh, would you ask Corin, are you forgetting about us small folk over on Animal Crossing? She wants to know if you've updated for Halloween. I just recently updated. And if she can come visit your scary island. And I don't have anything to show yet. We're going to be doing an island tour on the craft cast in a couple of weeks. Everybody was just talking about that in the live. Yeah. And um, I just started my pumpkin patch yesterday. So... I've been a little bit late, I guess. Olivia was telling me how many pumpkins she had, and I had none. I haven't even seen a pumpkin yet. I haven't either, because I just planted them. I didn't even know we could do it. The, the last thing I got was like a weird ring thing, ring con thing. I don't know what to do with it. By the way, the paper's cotton. Oh, the ring con, and that's because... Um, Nintendo just released that. That's why we all got that. <laughs> Nintendo gave out what they were selling. A bad business model. All right, so, she two, huh? She has about 200 pumpkins. Olivia has 200 pumpkins? No, Dana, uh, Dana, Christina. Oh. Um, I just planted like five pumpkins. She says it takes three days to grow. 
Oh, jeez! Okay, so yeah, you can pretty much sit here and do this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and make it look however you'd like. Um, but I'm going to just show you the other steps of the card. Is there any questions about watercolors? This is, um, yeah, supposed to be a chopstick holder, but it holds too. So this is not dry. Oh, I, I have been really enjoying this, uh, the Ranger Heat It craft tool. It's not really loud and obnoxious, and you just kind of dry stuff off in between steps if you have no patience or time or either. What about those of us who have made them? It works. Nothing is better than just waiting and um, like waiting for the watercolors to dry naturally. I think that's when you get really the best look to them, in my opinion. So I'm going to use this background stamp while this dries off a little bit. And this is a paper tray ink Simply Chartreuse, I believe. And just some watermark ink. This one is Gina K embossing ink. Just to get a little bit of a tone on tone look. Judy says that she doesn't think that time management and children are well together. Oh geez, especially now when there's no um school that when we should have more time than ever that we're with less of it than we ever have had. What? Yeah. You know, like being around the house and, and you're being home and things like that, you know. I feel like, you know, maybe some people use some stuff. Oh, like the kids? Yeah. So I'm just going to make a little uh, adjustment. Prairie Stork was at a uh, pumpkin farm the past weekend and they had an 850 pound trebuchet. Were they launching them? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is the thing about, that is probably the coolest thing about Delaware. Is the, the I've never been to the pumpkin launching. The pumpkin chocolate? Yeah. Uh, they have all kinds of different classes. That looks cool. I like the green. It's going to go with his bag that we can't talk about because it's a gift. Who is the bag? Not that anyone from that side of the family is going to watch my videos. <laughs> I'm just using some tear tape adhesive and craft foam to pop up my little background that I just stamped. And of course I have a uh, fog card base. I guess you guys couldn't, couldn't guess that one. Fag. All right, how are we gonna give the giveaway? Uh, I, that's what I was getting. I was just sitting here racking my brain. I was like, man, I was gonna ask her a question. What was it? Uh, the giveaway. That's right. Fog card stack. Fog. <laughs> it's always fog. Anyway, um. Oh, I need to stamp my sentiment. I do like it that I can still make you smile. Well, that's good. Ah. <laughs> You're such a goober. All right, so I have it all loaded and ready to go into my Misty. It's just going to be the wishing you happiness uh, sentiment that I used. I think that one is just perfect. And I'm going to use VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I stamped this image, by the way. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I stamped this image uh, in distress, not distress oxide, but distress ink in hickory smoke. I believe that really helped me um, kind of keep a light line look, not a no line. We'll say light line. Do you have other plans for these um, for these designs for these bunnies? And, and I um, I have some other things written down in my book. Yes. Things. For Whether them? I get time to do that or not, I don't know. Oh. The thing really is black. Roberta says, "Why don't we do a comment picker?" Do you have any idea how to do that? Um, I, yeah, in the comments, not the live chat. Hmm. So let's go down in the comments and we'll ask a question. And those of you that answer in the comments below will be entered to win the giveaway. And then I will pick a winner in three days' time. All right. So, uh... What's your, what be uh, the question? What's your question there, Chief? I, I can't think of one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How about just tell me what your favorite um, stamp set in the release is? In the comments, not in the live chat. It has to be in the comments so that I can use the comment generator. And then I'll pick it in three days. In three Boom. days. Boom! Well, no, I think it's just fine. Very easy watercoloring. Not hard at all. I don't even try to stay in the lines. I like the green. It was the skid sound. Your brakes. Oh, I make my own sound effects. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite stamp set in the release was. Um, and then in three days, them? we'll pick a winner. Huh? Are you going to keep rapping at them? Never Rap. mind. Continue. Okay. And, and, the, and, the, and, I don't think there's anything else. No? No. Does anyone have any questions? <clears throat> well, let's see here. I feel like this was a very... Well, I mean, aside from a couple of, you know, early bumps, getting things moving, uncooperative wife, you know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of watercoloring and the new release and leave me a comment and until next time. Oh, I guess we're supposed to push the button. Push the button. <laughs>